Hello everyone, welcome to another video with me, Winner Androids. Picking up where we left off last time, where I finished my war with NATO and grabbed all this land that they had over here in Africa and also the majority of the Balkans, which they literally only have this land here because they are attacking Manskit that's at the end. And I just could not continue the war any longer because I was just going to start losing everything I had over here if I continued really. Along with starting to lose lands over here, which I really don't want to be losing. So yeah, kind of had to force myself to end that war there. But I at least managed to complete my main goal for that war, which is kicking NATO L out of Africa. Yeah. Managed to save the African Union. Or at least what's left of them. So yeah. Got that dealt with, and I'll be dealing with problems with for other lands. I took that in the previous episode there. So I'll go ahead and get started on that. There we go. Oh, so I think I'm going to see about having Japan join in that war with NATO just to try and prolong Russia's life. And the fact that Japan themselves is quite strong, in all honesty. Eh, I don't really know. I'm going to have to try and finish everything off as quickly as possible and recruit a larger army. And do all that as quickly as possible so I can go to war with NATO once again to try and just punch myself, punch straight through Europe and deal with Germany and France because they are the main threats when it comes to NATO. Those two countries are the powerhouses of NATO that holds it together. United Kingdom, Spain, Poland are not all that much when, compa when compared to Germany and France, I would say. Yeah. Deal with problem stability as quickly as possible. And try and recruit a new army as quickly as possible after that as well.
Okay. Basically got province to be able to dealt with at this point. Kind of went overboard on it all. But I now have this to deal with right here. These idiots. So I'll quickly deal with them. And probably take over those two as well. Just so I don't have to put up with this stuff. From the other two as well. Later on. Okay, there we go. Goodbye to you. Let's see here. I'd like to take you over as well. And you. Pretty sure I sucked at both those provinces, but whatever. Okay. Well, it seems I have a bug. On here now. Great. Yeah. Two more turns, and I'll have them wipe out. Wiped out at least. And when it comes to them, I can't even end this that war now. Great. There. Those two are gone. Okay. Yeah, I think the game's broke. Yay. I can't even get peace anymore. It's actually impossible for me to get peace now. I just lost the army that was sitting in that province. Well. Okay then. Sure. I'll save the game right quick. And see if it works after restarting it, then. So, yeah. I'll restart the game right quick and see if this darn thing will actually work. Hey, it actually worked. I was surprised. I was actually not expecting restarting the game to work there. Wow. I was thinking that was just another one of the game, basically game breaking bugs, this thing. Apparently not. 
Well, okay. So, group these troops back up right there. Again. Let's see, recruitable population. That's up another half a million since I last checked and before I did all the province stability. Well, built up a little bit more money, I think. I'm going to have to put a massive amount of troops right there and along there, but especially right there because those are going to have to go straight into Germany and France. I'm also going to get troops to go down here to deal with that. Because they've retaken all that again. Okay. Russia's holding off, I guess. Kind of. Not really much left of them, but they're holding off. Still. At this point, it's mainly just Japan holding off NATO in this area now. And they're doing a very good job of it, too. I'd say. A lot of casualties, though. Yeah. Also, if I am going toward NATO again, I'm going to have to get troops along there, there, and also over here. And it seems Hungary has gotten independent from uh, the Netherlands. That's good. Hmm. Well, let's see here. I guess I'll do a bunch of recruiting now. Just train, recruit as many troops as I possibly can at this point. And just try and line them up on all of my borders with NATO. So I can go back to war with NATO again in the pre next episode. Also, one thing that I'm kind of thinking about doing is actually just turning NATO against themselves. At least Germany and France. Have them go to war with each other. That's one thing I could easily do with a single trade request. Because the AI always accepts these. No matter who it is they I'm asking them to go to war with. But I will see about that next episode if I actually decide to do that or not. Right now I will get to recor recruiting all of these troops that I'm going to need for this war.
Okay, I spent the majority of the money I had and brought that. Have a massive military budget here. I'm using. Yeah. I think that's done for now, considering I now have 600,000 troops, which I think is a decent amount for what I'm trying to. for what I'm going to be doing here. So, yeah. I guess it's time for me to try and group up all. Group up all of these troops. Okay, got all that dealt with. Got troops signed up and everything. For the entire border, I think, with an exception to that area right there that I now need to recruit more troops on because Bulgaria took that. So get some troops right there, and I'll be done when it comes to lining up all my troops against NATO once again. Don't have any troops to sit in the Mediterranean this time, which I don't know if that's going to be a good or a bad thing for me. Uh, I think when I go start things off, I'll see about see if I can just get Romania to give me this land at first, and then see about doing something with Hungary, Slovakia, Slovenia. So uh, just try and um, take them out without having to go to war with, the, war with them. Send an ultimatum to these countries, see if they'll accept, considering they do have quite small populations. And their population itself is actually smaller than my entire army. So hopefully they'll now be able to be enough to get them to accept peace with me. Except ultimatums. Easily. So, yeah. Go ahead and save the game. Right quick. Just need to remember to get more troops recruited right there before going after. NATO, and I'll be good. 
And really, I'm surprised NATO hasn't attacked that Union again. No, that's probably just because they're busy with Japan and Russia. But yeah, that's there is the end of this video. I hope you've all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.